Indeed, and well, for tonight, we've got your weekly action right here, and they are actually underway now. Uh, mm -hmm. Up to NG, DK, Nescard, and J-Man are going to go after the seed. Everybody on stream on strength HP builds. Absolutely. We start with gold. We get a magic key and presumably a magic key. So we are starting with uh, all the magic keys you would want. Not too shabby. Oh, wow. We start with 35 agility, which is great if you decide to go looking for a town. Only 7 strength, though. So uh, enemies may be hard-pressed to damage our runners, but they are in... our runners are going to have a little bit of a difficult time damaging enemies in return. DK uh, and exited and then re-entered and then exited again out of the throne room. So setting up a potential grind here early, hoping there's something nearby. Or maybe just looking for some herbs. Who knows? Yeah, a bit of an explanation of what's going on. Usually the gold grind, the way you set it up, is that the game only has space to sort eight chests. So usually you would... And that's reset when you go to the overworld. Usually you would get enough chests in a cave and then die. And when you went back to Tantagel, you would keep those uh oh wow there's Erdrick's armor the best armor in the game there's too much stuff to explain anyways uh you die in a cave usually you die in a cave you save those chests you get back to tangible you get the three in the throne room and then you go plunder the treasury for all of its worth and in the treasury we had two herbs Erdrick's armor as Smashy mentioned and the bottom left chest was a gold chest so there is a gold grind available to buying some uh, equipment. Although with Erdrick's armor, oh boy, I don't know how much grinding they're really going to need to do. It looks like Ness card's electing to Prince May. Up to NG going out, and there's a town right there. DK actually going underneath uh, is, Tantagel. We have coal. What's for sale in coal? We have a flame sword so they can get a good weapon if they gold grind. Overall, a uh, pretty fast start here. Especially with 35 agility on top of Erdrick's armor. Yeah, it looks like up 2 NG is going to do that right away. Not even taking the time to check the search spot, which is interesting because with the extended... Uh, you saw Erdrick's armor was off a search spot. The search spots are extended from what you're expecting. They can have all the key items on there, but they can also have... Erdrick's sword, Erdrick's armor, there's the stone sunlight, all lots of stuff that can show up in that spot. In the meantime, so that... DK found the tablet. <laughs> Finding a tablet, something that you don't see very often in the randomizer. Finding the draw and keeps looking, finds a nothing burger, finds a club, which is actually a torch, so that can be used to deal some damage. In this version of the randomizer, you can throw torches for 6 to 9 damage and fairy waters for about the damage of a hurt spell. Druin Lords are after DK pretty hard right now in the dark. As I believe uh, Neskars is leaving the castle finally, or going to go check out what's downstairs? Neskars is going to check down what was downstairs, which was actually Mountain Cave. Uh, DK unable to find anything of real note down there. Up to NG patiently waiting. Well, an Axe Knight that... is of, uh, serious note. Axe to the face. But yeah, uh... <laughs> Up to NG is grinding Erdrick's armor. Up, you can only carry so many armors. Uh, Nesgar is going to take a walk out into the world, find this flame sword, maybe check the search spot, and then... I was going to say, we're going to get our first kill, but no, the red slime got the first kill, technically, on or second kill on uh, DK side. My goodness. Fatality. And it was the harp in the search spot, so at least that wasn't a concern going forward. Yeah, I think uh, up to NG would have felt a little bit silly doing a full reset to set up the gold grind, and then oops, it was sword right there all along. 
Bet that's not the case. We're going to get the Flame Sword for another 28 attack power, which means that Magic Drake had a bad day. And added and up to, their, to their starting strength, they're in pretty good shape. Yeah, especially when you get 14 more HP and heal. So definitely some combat capability. This card not going to take out the Drakey. And it is good to have the um, to have that set up ready to go with Erdrich's army. Oh, oh boy, fire breathing as well. Some of the lower end monsters throw in some heat. That was, in fact, the full wombo combo from that Magic Drakey. Uh, Nest Guard not able to finish it off in one hit and just got blasted. Up to and G avoids getting a hurt more from a red slime. In the meantime, I think DK went back under Mountain and met a horrible death by Stone Man. Nest Guard to level three. 18 magic points on that level, but uh, I don't think any spells or anything else of real interest there. Yeah, zero spells, zero strength, zero agility. I love it. Let's so see if level four does any better, because Nest Card, bringing in the experience real quick, just got that. Solid, well-rounded level there, bringing a few spells and some decent stats. Yeah, just learned Sleep, Radiant, and Repel. With that starting Erdrich's Armor and that starting High Agility, uh, Repel could be used in some dungeons to potentially get through a little quicker. Oh, Nescar's actually going to go after... Nope. Not strong enough for that yet. And the Stone Man gets the initiative and takes him down you have level five coming up here for up to ng five four twenty six and one boy yeah you'll want to heal that up real quick uh dk utilizing some torches that reach level two and we'll go after the magic drake he and probably get a horrible fatality or and i could just attack and as being pointed out in the chat, yeah, DK did not go with the reset. And as you can see, the gap is starting to grow here uh, for everyone having that flame sword in hand. Yeah, I mean, you do get some, you do get some strength early, but at the same time, uh, twenty-eight more attack power is nothing to sneeze at, especially since the only weapon other than that flame sword was the club, and J-Man has hit some fun police, and the fun police have hit J-Man hard. Uh, Nescar going up to five. Speaking of getting hit hard, DK gets Wombo comboed by the Magidraki, and the Murder Bats add another one to the notches on their belt. Anyways, up to NG, doing a little bit of a grind right next to Tantagil, is going to pick up a quick level six here. Skeletons are going down in two rounds. It's a pretty good get if you can find them. Two, four, two, and 23. The levels are always seem, seemingly throwing something of use every time here. There hasn't been anything that's been too underwhelming, shall you say, Smashy. Yeah, in the meantime, J-Man's actually found a metal line, but it runs away. Uh, with 26 strength, they'd always had a chance to run away. Uh, the Scare Metal Slime's flag is on, but by level 2, it doesn't matter anymore. We have uh, J-Man attempting to take down a Magi Wyvern, I believe. Nope, deciding to get out of there after putting it to sleep. Yep, yeah, in the meantime, Nescar's found some Druin Lords to go after. It seems like he's actually defense breaking him and lands a Harishin no Ichigeki to take one out. And those uh, Druin Lords are available in the Mountain Cave as well. But as we've seen, there's Axe Knights and Stone Men down there, so oh, probably, probably not a place you want to go hang out. DK's fortunes just get worse. Magicians have heal. 
How about a droll? Well, it is a fair fight, and with heal, it should be possible. Uh, two caves for Nest Card. Cave number one is the Staff of Rain Cave. And that's the one you, honestly, you want to see that as soon as possible now. Having the Silver Heart being a freebie in coal, all of our racers will not have to hunt for it later. It looks like DK might be just restarting. Yep. Going to grind that flame sword. Nest card has found a cave. Looks to be Garen's grave. So Look another that, one with uh, five chests in addition to the mountain cave, which is located underneath the castle. And lands more Kaishin no Ishigeki to take out a Druin Lord. Uh, the Drakinas have heal more. Of course they is, do. Which is giving a little bit of consternation to up to NG as he attempts to gain level 7. But down it goes. Level 7. What you got? 1. 1. 1 and a 3 and a 2. I only caught one of the chests in uh, Garen's grave from Nest Cards, but Erdrick's token appears to be on the top floor there. Yeah, actually not a bad trio of chests. It was token, death necklace, and a fairy water. So as DK sets up to grind now uh, to get the flame sword, everyone else is already up to at least level five. So a bit of a gap has grown here for our four featured racers. Yeah, and Nescard actually electing not to go deeper into the Garen's grave. I guess not having outside and doesn't want to lose map position just yet, but dead end. Blue dragon for Nescard's. Might be a tough getaway here. We'll have to wait and see. But gets it done. That high starting agility paying off. Yeah, interesting that Nescard's not going deeper into the grave. Especially after seeing the dead end. J-Man finds Rimaldar in amongst some foothills. Yeah, with the key start, it's only good for the treasure chest and the gear shop. I still haven't seen a silver shield yet. Well, that is a dragon scale, which... None of them went and got out of the shop in uh, coal, so that's nice to have. Yeah, Cole's um, item shop is in a horrible position, and you will get NPC blocked, and it is just potential headache overall. So good to get the dragon scale somewhere else, and there's your silver shield. J-Man, knowing that, can probably set up a grind, uh, having that knowledge ahead of everybody else, potentially. How easy to set up that grind? Who knows? Oh, Red Dragons with Sleep. And Hurt, and Lord, Hurt Lord. but that's better than Dragon Lord 2 Breath, you'd have to say. And no stop spell. This is not looking for good for J-Man, and it's just dead. Up to NG, yet to take a death here of our four featured racers. With that strong agility plus Erdrick's armor start, it kind of makes sense. In the meantime, the Druin Lord's deciding to get some revenge on Nescar, throwing Hurtmore at him. It must be rather uh, resistant to the idea, because we've seen a lot of Druin Lord takedowns already. DK now with the flame sword in hand, already going from level one to level three. Meanwhile, up to NG has found the bonus cave, usually housing the stones of sunlight. Today is just a torch. Still makes light. I think it's roughly the same thing. And more importantly, there's a town right there. Um Going to go after this night with the sleep spell. I I think this is just short of the level. Uh, this would be the level. It would be 607. I think it's 78 experience in the randomizer for the night. Yep, yeah. There it is. 6, 7, Woo! 11, Woo! 5, and... Hurt more, so it's time to start blasting things to smithereens. 
Yep, I have a little thing I like to call that. I like to call it Erdrich's Bazooka. Uh-oh. <laughs> Hopefully gets away from this. Yeah, no stop spell. You just have to hope you can run. And now you're asleep. Oddly enough, Hurtmore is actually a better option for the Red Dragon to have uh, for our competitors with high agility and things like that. Uh, you'd rather that and, you know, you can take some hits and Hurtmores are limited. I believe it's a max of 24 damage when you have Erdrich's armor. Yeah, right now with their defense, the Hurtmore is going to do less damage than a normal attack a dragon. That kind of evens out at late game. Especially if you can get a silver shield, but... Uh, J-Man's found Garenham. We'll see what's in the back three here. Uh, the Kiwi Fund. The Fighter's Ring, some bling. And Fairy Water. Nothing too special there, but two extra strength for that Fighter's Ring. And got the key back. And now we will see what is underneath Garen's grave. Rainbow Drop? Nope, it is dark, so probably Swamp or the Tablet. Well, we're going to see with Radiant, it is the Tablet Cave. So, one chest, no encounters. And, uh, we... I don't know if we've... Have we seen any of the Mountain Cave chests yet? I was going to say... Mountain Cave was under Tantagel, and it had nothing of note. Alright, well then there's an okay chance there could be something good in here. It's just wings, unfortunately. Bit of Red Bull. In the meantime, Opportunity is going to get his Staff of Rain, as Nescar makes it to level light. A little sleep and beat feet there for uh, Nescards. Yeah, Nescard using the slept and left strategy on that stone man, putting it to sleep and then just leaving it behind. Here's, uh, might be going for a grind here, potentially? Interesting. I don't know if Nescard saw the Silver Shield. Meanwhile, DK is going Deep Grave. And figures out the Rogue Scorpions have stop spells, so... Even without Hurtmore, this is a very easy kill. You cannot be stop spelled with Erdrick's armor, so... Uh, that Rogue Scorpion can try all at once. It's never, never going to land. Speaking of Erdrick's armor, we've mentioned a couple of the features here already. Uh, in that it cuts hurt more spells in half, I believe, and it cuts one your, third. One third, and same with the Dragon Lord uh, or any breath attacks, whether it's DL one or DL two uh, variants, if you will. Uh, you also heal one hit point for every step. You can't be stop spelled. You're blocked. You block damage from swamp and barrier tiles. Uh, what else, uh, Smashy? Am I missing out of the many, many features of that wonderful armor? It has the best defense in the game of 28, and it's it just looks pretty. I mean, that, that's fantastic. Highly overpowered. You gotta love it. It's delicious. Meanwhile, um, up to NG going for something delicious in this Metal Slime, which would level him up. And it does the classic. Takes two hits, runs away. Oh, those cowardly metal slimes. As you can see, the levels have evened out a little bit here. DK still uh, trying to work down this... Uh, an another rogue scorpion, pardon me, which has yeah. the baby breath. In the meantime, up to NG, I think, is going for the first chest of Deep Grave. Electing to put the Draw Magi to sleep, and then... Oh, right, I have hurt more. He was just being very considerate before he offed it from this mortal coil. And Rainbow Drop Cave for J-Man. I missed roughly what direction that was in, but cut off on his own little island. Very stylish. Anyways, it was actually the Stones of Sunlight in Deep Grave. Which is bad news for Nescard because he orphaned deep grave he generally doesn't dive deep grave unless he has no other choice typically so let's see if that comes back to uh, bite him in the butt here 
And what else is down there? Some glod. Even worse, it's the, it's the side path uh, that had the stones. The deep, deep grave, just gold. More well, sprinting uh, metal slimes there. And DK's the one that could really use one to catch up. Up to NG, very close to the level. A metal slime run away, and another metal slime run away. They're awfully scared today. Hey, now that... One mouse slime, it ambushed, and then it ran away. That's, that, that's just teasing at that point, isn't it? But yeah, DK... Uh, all the stuff to make the rainbow drop, as J-Man officially validates the seed off of the... Uh, what are we calling her now? Sprock Aver? Sprock Aver. This does not need to be a thing. Just call it a spark over bridge. Looks like we're going to get some coordinates here in Cantlin from Nescarts. Or now or... must go and fight! Finish the fight. He's going to have to Master Chief this. There are no coordinates today. Meanwhile, up to NG hitting level 9. I uh, got some stats. And level 9 does have outside... Or, level 8 had outside, pardon me, not 9. So that's why uh, you see DK currently walking out of uh, the cave. I'm sure DK doesn't mind beating down on some stuff. He needs to get some experience anyways. Uh, it looks like I'm um, doing a quick comparison between up 2 and G and Nest card. Never mind, the stats went away. Oh, well, we'll see him right now because Nest card just horribly splattered a Rogue Scorpion and is now on level 9. Uh, they came with 7 power, 1 agility, 6 health, and no magic. Bit of a blah level, but they've been getting some pretty good ones, uh, Smashy, so you can't complain when the odd bad radish gets in the bag. Okay, there's only so much bad about a seven strength level. Yeah, if you can have a bad level, that's the way to do it, I suppose. But compared to what they've been getting, it's it's not as nice. In the meantime, J Man onto the second continent. And runs straight into a knight. And the knight runs straight into a hurt more. Don't run into hurt mores. So as you can see, that agility hasn't necessarily continued to uh, ratchet up for them. It hasn't been terrible, but they've only gained 30 agility in the last seven levels. Or eight levels, pardon me. And on, and the second continent is just Sharlock. Just a straight shot over to Sharlock. Nice and easy to explore, no problems there. DK running into an armored knight, that's not good. Yeah, DK, I think the only one without. Or. Does DK. Oh, DK does have Hurt More. But only has. Doesn't, ha only has one doesn't have the. <laughs> doesn't have the MP to beat an Armor Knight with it. When you, only, when you only got one shot in the chamber, you better make it count. In the meantime, Nescard learned that Demon Knights have Stop Spells, so you can. Watch them waste turns, stop spelling you while you waste turns missing them. And it appears up to NG is going to show off the dragon scale and go back to the start. Look at my scale. My scale is amazing. Those curious why up to NG just wants to go back to the castle, and one way you can do that is there's a few items you can just show off in battle over and over and over, and the enemy will cut you down. Yeah, kind of interesting they didn't double heart more to get the level there, but I guess up to NG wanted to be back home sooner rather than later. It appears he's going to be heading down to the basement, which is Mountain Cave. And now that a few more people are in the room here, anyone who's in the tournament, uh, 
Tournament matches will be held on three different family of channels. We have RPG Limit Break, Randomania, and I believe new to this tournament, Speed Gaming. You can request a channel uh, when you set up your match. You may or may not get the one you ask for, but the idea is we're going to spread them out over those three channels. So, uh, you know, be sure to following and pay attention to what channel you'll uh, be rebroadcast on if you're going to be promoting it. In the meantime, Nescar got level 10, and I think about the only thing I can say about it is, well, you have to get to get to level 11. That level really looked like it was um, very not good. Oh, can DK get the Metal Slime? This Metal Slime wins the fight. This Metal Slime could kill DK. DK only has 3 <laughs> oh HP. God, no. It didn't score any damage that time. Oh, but I think that was fatal. Yes, it was. DK to level 9. Well, persistence pays off. Z-Man gets the Metal Slime kill. Yeah, it's actually caught up to J-Man in... Uh, stuff. Levels. I like stuff. Up to NG managing to take out a stone man by, I think, just chucking hurt spells at it. This card's in Garenum now. Yeah, Jun is going to discover all the nothing burgers and then move on with life. So at this point, uh, I don't know if we've seen the jerk yet. We have seen the jerk uh, off on its own little island. There's a bridge and it's just across there in a forest, but. I'm not sure which direction that is in from the castle. Okay, so we do know where the jerk is. I think we're just missing Hawksness. Hawksness would be good, and of course the sword would be good. Uh, does I don't anybody... think we've seen. I don't think we've seen Breconary either. Does anybody have a shield yet, other than uh, I believe Nest cards? Anyways, up to NG has managed to clean house. And indeed, just a silver shield for Ness Cardinality. No one else uh, has decided to get themselves a uh, pot lid. Although it does look like up to NG is setting up his gr setting up a grind of his own. I believe that's our first Wolf Lord up in the uh, DK side of things. And it doesn't look too threatening. Seems to just like swinging away futilely at beautiful, beautiful armor. And J-Man gets a silver shield. And up to NG is printing money and uh, shall soon have Silver Shield as well. We do have a. Is that a small shield on uh, J Man's side? That can't be right. No, Silver Shield. I believe. So if you got to do a grind to get that, you've got some real problems in your uh, game plan. Free torch for J-Man coming up here. 
Has anyone used an herb yet, or have they all just got up to six out of the uh, the treasury, the armory at the castle, and I'll just try to hold those to the end? Really been no need, honestly. Well, you did get heal at level two, which helps. And you have the armor to passively heal with, so yeah. Probably got all those herbs still on board. Anyways, J-Man's about to be gold, told to go and fight stuff. And gain delicious experience. Here's DK now filling up on herbs and also bought a dragon scale. So we'll get the two extra defensive points that adds once equipped. DK's going to take a look at Garenham Shop. Find a silver shield, but no other shields. I don't know if we've seen a large shield yet in any of the shops. Probably in Catlin, but no one's really been checking those shops as they went. And J-Man uh, bought the silver shield. Unfortunately, then ran into a red dragon. Up to NG also rocking that silver shield. So three of the four now carrying some pretty nice equipment. In the meantime, DK getting the fighter's ring. Going to put on the fighter's ring and the dragon scale. I see that um, Ness Carnality just found uh, the big C over on the second continent. Yep, all by its lonesome. It's like the road to Roan all over again. Off in some unforbidden on its own place. I might be missing, mixing up my Dragon Warriors just a bit. Yeah, I think you're not that far off. Anyways, next card heading in directions. I and here's nest cards. That there is the rainbow uh, drop cave, the jerk cave. It is guarded by ye old dragon of red. Here comes the sleep. Let's see if the wreck will follow. And it seems to be awfully sleep happy, doesn't it, Smashy? Yep, and we do not have stop spell yet. And blocked and just blasted. With a heart more. Up to NG, a first turn red dragon run. You love to see that when you're the runner, that's for sure. And looking for a first turn kill on this green dragon, nope, but just one swing from the flame sword, and that will be level 11. There is a request uh, to see the red dragon stats, uh, would be an interesting thing. I'm assuming it's 75% sleep based on what we're seeing, or 75% magic. And, well, there's your stop spell, so we'll... Up to NG may be showing off the Red Dragon stop spell resist, which is a 7 out of 16. So about a coin flip to hit that. That's pretty solid. Uh, we actually haven't seen any of the spike spots yet, I don't believe. Uh, we, did someone check the swamp cave? I don't recall offhand. Not that we need to rescue the princess anyway. In the meantime, Nest Card is back into... Garen's grave is going to go deep and go get the stones of sunlight there down here. Stone Man is the spike spot in the swamp cave. Uh, right now, this is a good play here, of course, for Ness Cards. That the side passage does have the stones of sunlight. Uh, it's really going to come down to who can find the best grind, I think, looking forward here. Everyone's kind of out there in the same rough area. It's just trying to find the best way to move forward here, Smashing. And to answer chat, no, no one has located Hawksness as of yet. No Hawksness, no Breconary. 
They're probably going to be right beside one another, so you'll have an easy grind once you find it. Is what I would tell myself if I were racing. Well, quote unquote easy. It depends a lot on what's down there. It'll it'll be uh, something friendly, I am sure. It always is. And again, have we? How many curse bells have we seen? I think it might only be the one. I haven't even noticed one yet, but uh... yeah, there was one in Mountain Cave. Okay. One so far, so, and we know that there's one empty search spot so far. Yeah, so there's the potential for the Fairy Flute to be in Hawksness, Erdrick Sword, or a big old nothing burger, and they're both in Sharlock. Speaking of uh, places, here's Hawksness, Nest Cardinality, heading over there now to the back of the shop. Yeah, it's actually not too far from a town. It's a blue dragon. Uh, F2NG has located the jerk and takes a moment to realize, oh, I have the stuff, let's make the thing. Here comes the coin flip roll, does not get the hurt more. Gonna go for it again, will it land this time? No, some bad luck here for Nest Cards. Go for it again. Yeah. It lands, is it enough? It is. Yeah, it takes two hurt mores to kill a blue dragon, and it is the sword. We've got the stick, so it's now going to be up to Nest Cards, knowing where the Rainbow Drop Cave is, and I have also seen Sherlock figure out what the grind's going to be. Looks like blue dragon. This is going to be a little bit of a tricky grind because no heal more. Uh, heal more once again taking its sweet time to show up. Well, gonna hope that it shows up now at 11. That would be the time for it. Well, it's not gonna show up at 11. We already know 11. It has stop spell. Well, that's something at least. I mean, blue dragons can be tricky in actual fight. They're pretty much as tanky as red dragons. They're just about... 22 strength or so weaker. Something to keep in mind, that strength uh, stat is... How would you say this without getting thrown off of the channel? Let's say it's garbage. That's, I think, the best way to describe it. 51. Yeah, it's taken a little bit of time to get going. Nest cards trying to stay alive. They're just throwing a, a hurt more out at a rogue scorpion. So was that Hawksness right there near the the rainbow drop cave? In fact, was <laughs> and Nest card gets a first turn runaway from a red dragon. Well, he'll be happy to see that. Just going to get his rainbow drop right now. Too bad there's nothing over on the second continent, like a second town. Grinding in, in in the castle might have been the best way to go. It'll be interesting to see how they choose to do this, Smashy. A lot of options. Yeah, I'm not sure if Nest Card healed before... Okay, so I guess he just took a little break to go walk his HP back up and gets ambushed. Eh. Swamp Boss is a stone man. This guy is just not having a good time trying to initiate a fight here. First off, an ambush and then a miss. I will say this, uh, something that I don't know if it would be something they'd want to do necessarily, but depending on how close anything is to Hawksness for refills, I wonder if just using the mountain cave underneath the castle might be the best way to go. You do have Axe Knights, Stone Men, even Druin Lords in there. You potentially could just, you know, refill quickly, get back down there. It's an option, I suppose. Haven't seen anything yet that screams, this is the play, though. Have you, Smashy? Uh, not yet. Yeah, it is a bit of a tricky situation. DK 
managing to make the rainbow drop and is now looking for something to do. Although did not walk south to get Big Stick. So is going to be taking on this Axe Knight with a heart more to the first. Speaking of the Big Stick, up to NG now looking to get there himself. Not a lot of magic left. Gotta land at least one hurt more and then start plinking. Well, gets one hurt more. Now, do you swing or do you, do you go for the second hurt more? It looks like swings. I'd go with swings after landing the first one just based on where everything is at right now. You probably only have to land three or maybe four shots to get them. And indeed, up to NG gets it done. Yep, that'll be Erdrick Sword for up to NG. Now I wonder what up to and G is going to do here. Is it going to keep walking around? Maybe look to see if Breckenry's in the neighborhood. Well, there is this town right here. Uh, Green Dragon refusing to go to sleep, refusing to let up to and G go. Lanes a hurt more on him. And it is Garenam, so it doesn't appear to be too far away. So this is probably going to be the play they're going to go with for the guaranteed encounter on the spike tile. In the meantime, DK, not even seeing Hawks since yet, is going after the Stone Man with the Flame Sword. The Stone Man, probably, what, the worst grind enemy you want to see there? I don't like Stone Man grinds. I'm not sure anybody likes Stone Man. I'm pretty sure Stone Man's mothers don't like Stone Man. They're just too tanky and they don't give you enough return for your investment. In the meantime, J-Man with a forced Breconary encounter. In a good point by Ali, Stone Man with stop spell and hurt really aren't a, a bad uh, combo to be facing. Well, I mean, there, yeah, there you just flip around and it's just the grind that doesn't kill you. And DK is actually rescuing the princess. I oh, guess he hasn't seen Cantlin yet. No, the big, big issue facing DK right now is the fact that had to do that restart and play catch up is now kind of in a situation where they, uh, don't have as much exploratory knowledge as everybody else. And 12 yeah. as a level is right. Look at that level. Oh, boy. Yeah, that's just your casual... It... I know it's automated, but could the thing stop swapping off the stats every time I go to read them? There was this guy named Murphy, and he wrote a law about that. But yeah, um, 18 strength, <laughs> 5 agility, uh, 5 HP, 0 MP. I love it. Oh, it's 9 agility. Uh, my bad. 9 agility is pretty nice. That's an extra 4 defense right there. Plus, makes getting away from some of those nastier enemies a little easier. This werewolf hurts. That's another enemy I'm not a fan of fighting most of the time. They're annoying. They dodge a little better than average, and they just don't give you that much of a reward. And they have heal! Of course they do. Anyways, DK is going to knock this one out, and... J-Man going after an Armor Knight for level 12 after picking up Erdrick's sword. Gets it done. Level 12 in the chamber for J. Oh, right. Level 12 also had heal more. Yep. That is a level. So right now, up to NG, uh, in control of our four featured racers of the weekly randomizer race here. 
If you're enjoying what you're seeing, be sure to check out the tournament that starts tomorrow. And Jamin finds the jerk but doesn't have the stuff to do the thing with. Of course not. Why, why would you ever get that on the first try? Yeah, unfortunately has not went to the southern end of the map where not only is the staff trade in available, the other two key items are down there, so rather unfortunate. The monster talk in chat makes me realize, have we seen any of the um, hat-wearing ghost family? I believe we have not. I honestly don't recall seeing anybody in a uh, homespun, you know, otherworldly hat. I think we sent the exorcist through the sea beforehand, just to clean it out. So as the Blue Dragon grind continues, uh, Nest Cards and Up to NG both line themselves up here pretty nicely. But as you can see, the strength is still considerably lacking, as are the magic points. Okay, so I missed level 13, but it had some HP. Didn't have a lot. Had some HP and it had return. One thing to keep in mind, the Death Necklace might be in play, but we are going to need to see some more magic points for anyone's making a serious run at the Dragon Lord. Yeah, we don't even have nine heal mores at the moment. There is no chance. Unless the next level is something ridiculous like 30 strength. And Lorgon, uh, good with those sort of you know, running the tools and things to know what's going on. Spectre's on the map, but there's no ghost or poltergeist. Spectre being the strongest of the uh, ghost types, but not that strong. Definitely one of the weakest third tier enemies uh, from a family, that is for sure. So right now, up to NG carrying about a 400 experience point lead over Nest Carnality on our four featured racers. Just trying to grind up the stats needed uh, to go to the end of the game. I believe up to NG has seen Sherlock. Yeah, that that experience gap's about to increase because Nest Card is out of magic. Well, one more kill before getting out of here can definitely damage race the enemy. Anyways, J-Man has found, I believe that's the Swamp Cave, I believe. Well, we need to know where that is based on where Sherlock is, but as said, J-Man still lacking in items necessary to access the final castle. Okay, J Man's gonna light up for us. Yep, Swamp Cave. I like this play by Nest Cards. Using the herbs to stay a little longer. You're getting a crit first turn, how about that? Boom, headshot. But a good play because you're going back to Garanam to heal. The shop is right there. You may as well get as much as you can out of each trip. Maybe save yourself a back and forth walk uh, as you move along. And DK is going to find Hawksness only for MP, so he's going to have to try to beat this blue dragon on one health bar, although picking up level 12, that was a big HP level. Uh, DK should handle this with a little problem. What if there's no uh, unnecessary whiffs? Yep, should be good. Although the blue dragon's in roll 25, that's a little scary. Yeah, in the meantime, up to NG fighting for level 14. And here we go, level 14. What you got? 17 power! Uh, Only one more magic point, though. Uh, not much else, so yeah, definitely not enough MP to do, to do the trick. 
Uh, that is a serious escalation of power, though. And the good news uh, for DK, now having Erdrick sword in hand, taking down the blue dragon. Yeah, I think DK just needs to find a nearby town and can just start with the grind. And we know Cantlin's not that far away if you remember to map, if you map it right. And it looks like DK is mapping it right. Yeah, there are Diet Wombo Red Dragons. I'm sure everyone has run into at least one Red Dragon. They've been fairly common in chunks of the map that people have been passing through. As the grind goes on, J-Man managing to find Garen's grave finally and shall collect the stuff. Keeping the death necklace might be important depending on how the next le few levels go. Oh, well, that blue dragon had a bad day. That's card picking up a bunch of strength. To be fair, a lot of blue dragons are having bad days now. Yeah, but how many are having bad day days while a princess watches? However many DK's gonna slaughter here, I suppose. And another crit for DK. I love it. Anyways, J-Man has just picked up the final thing. Immediately gets out. Not even going to check for a potential fairy flute, although we know it's not down there. And boom, there you go. J-Man now has all the stuff to do your thing. And that's nice to also get that harp right off the... Uh, get it out of there now, so... Heading on back to the cave, no doubt, to get that rainbow drop. And the neat thing about that is, Hawksness is about to screen away, so... And that gap uh, is probably more like 800 to 1,000 for up to Indy, so about five blue dragons for the lead over Nest cards right now in our four featured racers. Yeah, it looks like up to Indy, utilizing the fact that Garenham is the closest town. It has a really convenient item shop. Going to extend the grind with herbs as well. Try to pick up 15 before going back. There'd be no problem with the uh, materials on hand. Only two more blue dragons, including this one, uh, to get to level 15. And indeed, using Fairy Water or Repel might be a viable way to lessen the encounters in Sherlock. Uh, the agility is pretty high. That defense will remove a few of the lesser monsters as it stands right now. Yeah, right now, up to the Green Dragon would be removed. And <laughs> uh, up to NG getting level 15 in style with a crit. Pro next level with three power. 9 agility, 16 health, and 2 magic. If that magic stat was, what, even 10 higher, they'd probably be looking forward to getting in there now, possibly. It just isn't that great right now. Yeah, Death Necklace is completely on the table now. It's one of those, how are you feeling on your rolls? Really? Because, I mean, you can Death Necklace, your attack's 142, so you're looking at 10 to 21, so if you average it out 11 rounds, but you'd be really tight. Ooh, that would be tough if you were not... You'd have to roll better than average to make that work, I think, with the magic as is. I think Lorgan's saying you are a heavy favorite if you get down with everything, but... Knowing the Diet Wombo on the Reds, that could be a bit of an iffy proposition. I mean, you could get doubles for sure, but it depends how breathy he's feeling as well. It's, it's definitely possible. It's one of those decisions you have to make 
in a tournament uh, setting. Do you go or do you play it safe? What's your opponent going to do? How are you feeling? Well, even without doubles, you're dealing 15 average. You need about... What is it, about 10 swings to be in range to kill? Well, I mean, I was doing I was doing the math around um, around the death necklace. If you're going without the death necklace, you're going to well, get... Well, that, that is with the death necklace. That 15 average. Without the death necklace, you're looking at a 8 to 12. 8 to 16 range. So you're looking at more like 13 rounds. Interesting. I wonder if up to and G might go for a partial level. Uh, well, the magic being the biggest issue. Oh, hey, we found a specter. <laughs> there we go. It died. Interesting. Interesting stuff here of what to decide. We'll have to wait and see what everyone chooses to do when they hit 15. And here's the decision time for Ness Cardinality. Yeah, it looks like up 2 ngs going for it. Ness Card's making a call. Looks like probably going to go for it as well. Ness Card at least has to recover some HP for uh, recover some MP first. Wizards actually kind of unfortunately with the fire breath. It's true with that high agility, they would not be doing much damage otherwise. DK continuing the grind with the princess in arms. Let's see what the decision is going to be once uh, DK gets there. 7,500 experience. That'll be this dragon and two more after that. Yeah, DK gonna have to dip into some herbs to finish off the level here, though. Now we see a golem on Nescard's side, fighting it as he goes. Ooh, but it's a punchy golem, which is bad because golems hit about as hard as red dragons. You might say they hit like a ton of bricks. Yep. A uh, ton of bricks. Because they're made of bricks, you see. But I'm. Bricks. In the meantime, DK now has the decision to make. And up to NG has walked into lock. I just want to say for the record, I got a mixed response out of chat. Mission achieved. So up to NG is in to Sherlock. First one there, but hot on his heels is Ness Cardinality. Up to NG actually getting quite the hero run here, as only seen that wizard so far. Here comes a punchy golem, gets away on the first turn now. But they're, what are they, 60 agility? Should be a pretty easy run most of the time. And both are taking fights, so I'm assuming we won't see repel from, uh, or a fairy water from either of them, but we'll have to wait and see what Nest Cards does. And it appears DK is also going. Ooh, and a red dragon shows up for Nest Cards. You did, did not want to see that. Yeah, the first zone has red dragons. Uh, Nest Card having a bad time gets away and finds an X Knight, which is defense broken. I don't think Nest Card realized that, but. Yeah, the X Knight wouldn't be too bad of a fight here. I'm wondering if uh, Ness Cards is just gonna just gonna go for another red dragon. That hero walk is looking even better now for up two and G. And up two and G onto the second zone. Onto the diamond floor. Making his way around that concealed chest in there. Which of course I highly, highly doubt we'll see anybody collect.
Okay, Nest Card is taking wizard fights at least. And checking quickly into uh, the speedruns uh, live channel, no one has finished the race as of yet. So you might see the first place finisher live and in color here on Randomania. And up to NG, going after these Axe Knights. Now less than 1,000 experience points away from the next level and getting another Axe Knight. And another red dragon for Nest Cards tries a stop spell, but it fails. Yeah, Nest Card had two spare MP to try something like that. Spend it there, did not connect, runs off. Up to NG, uh, taking the fights needs to, getting away from the golems because they just punch too hard. Let's yeah, thankfully golems are one of the easiest runs in Sherlock. And DK with Princess in arms is making the dive. Blue Dragon is escaped by up to NG. Depends on what we have on the, the spike spot, maybe for this level. A Star Wyvern, possibly killable? I don't recall them having anything too dangerous. They hurt. And between the defense break and the hurt, they're just food. But they will not be on the spike tile. The weakest enemy on the spike tile is um, the Axe Knight. Speaking of an Axe Knight, Nest Cards takes one down. Only 1,100 and change away from uh, the next level. With this Axe Knight, it'll be just over 1,000 experience points. In the meantime, it looks like DK is just going to go for it on 15, not even taking fights. I'm wondering if uh, DK feels that uh, way behind based on having that late restart and just going for it here, figuring this is my best chance. Certainly, and well, DK actually not as far behind as they may be thinking. Certainly making a good comeback. That Metal Slime did help quite a bit with that. I can't get over the amount of red dragons Nest Cardinality is seeing versus what up to NG is seeing. It has been a very disproportionate spread of the enemies here. Yeah, I think up to NG actually made it all the way through first zone without a red dragon. It's kind of one of those infuriating th things where you're commiserating about, oh, there were so many red dragons. And... Well, speaking of the red dragon, here's one now. And stop spell does not land. That was the freebie. Going for it again, just deciding... I oh, can... that's a spent heal more. That's what I was wondering about, but yeah. Now down to eight heal mores up to NG. But does have the stop here, and will get the level from this red dragon. Up to NG needs to hope that this is some good strength, because if it's high MP, you do not recover that in Sherlock. Uh, level 16, what you got? Oh. <laughs> wow. wow. Oh, boy. Well, that makes that uh, spent stop spell look pretty good now. Death Neck was not even required. I mean, I, I think he could use it and probably get by now, even with only eight heal mores. He'd have, what, 161 oh. attack power? DK being take taken to Vect in by the Red Dragon on the bottom floor. So 161 power, uh, if I'm doing the math correct on that, we're looking at, what, a minimum of 10 if you use the Death Necklace? Or no, 15? Jeez, I don't know, it's a lot. <laughs> it's a lot. And our Spike Tile Enemy Smashy is... Just an Axe Knight. Silly little Axe Knight. This, that will set up nicely for Nest Cards, though, after this And fight. somehow, with 151 attack power, it takes three hits to kill this Axe Knight. That makes zero sense. Actually, you know what? It was going to be just short Nest Cards. This Star Wyvern will set up the level for 16 on the Axe Knight. Anyways, up to NG shall now be declared a four. And DK is going to retreat back to Hawks and take level 16. Uh, up to NG wants to go fast. Why using, 
using it here will be will it be in effect for the second battle? I believe so. I mean, I mean, why hit for twenty five when you can hit for thirty? And this card has level sixteen and shown that how oh, clothesline or suplex or whatever wrestling move you can think of. A max breath attack there by the Dragon Lord and up to NG. That's just not nice. Yeah. And look, another. Yeah. Oh, this card's found a red dragon. I've never seen this before. Oh, red dragon. Oh, he's managed to block it, though. And up to NG getting a min roll of 15. You heard that right. A 15, which is a min roll. Another one. Getting <laughs> two straight min rolls at 15. That is just some awful, awful luck right there. Even a 22, that's uh, like slightly below average. These rolls are not good for up to NG. Oh, and 18. He's getting into a danger zone here. He's going to need the rolls to start really going his way. And this card is put on the death necklace as well. There's another 22. Up to NG, down to one heal more. Should still be good uh, based on the numbers we're seeing here, but... All right, still a heal more in reserve. Just fine and dandy. GG's for up to NG. Yeah, once you get into these really high APs, the number of heal more you need just goes way down. But I have to update you. The winner of the race, not a featured racer this week, Tristel. Hashtag Trisluck in 105.23 is your winner of the weekly randomizer race. Up to NG taking a second place in 106.46. Meanwhile, Nescar getting stuck with the low roll of 16. You didn't even back to back 15. Come on. So it appears that while this was going on, um, DK went back to Hawksness and is getting 16 and will like what's showing up. Speaking of showing up, up to NG is in the chat with us. Hey, what's going on, guys? I just watched a pretty solid race. Uh, you were... Uh, just barely ahead of Ness cards, and uh, honestly, the biggest difference in the end, conservatively, I think he saw eight red dragons on the way down in uh, in Sherlock. It was unbelievable the amount that he ran into. Definitely not a wow. Ness cardality luck did that he I normally say. Eight or, or did he do it on the first dive? I, I, the, a lot of people on the first more on the first dive. You were ahead of him. You uh, definitely pushed uh, pushed along nicely. Uh, the biggest thing was you just had a slight experience lead and you managed to build it a little ad hoc stuff. Yeah, right. you did have the experience lead of our featured runners all the way through. Yeah, I'm surprised about that a little bit because I did I did have the, the two and a half minute penalty of not getting the gold grind in the in the first minute there. And maybe that happened to everybody. I'm not sure. Uh, Nescard set it up and got the flame sword ahead of you. DK actually went, what, six or seven minutes before ultimately... I think it was closer to third. ten, actually. Oh, man. And then That's he caught up. I, if he you see the flame sword, you have to reset immediately. <laughs> he uh -oh. caught up really well. He was actually on the bottom floor and then got womboed out by a red dragon. Right around the time up to NG, you were getting 16 off that red dragon. He actually walked past you by about five tiles, and then a red dragon... Sent him packing, unfortunately. For wow, him. Yeah, so DK. Very nicely. I, I think uh, some routing worked out pretty well for me as I, I went south um, early on, which was like a direction across some bridges that, you know, wasn't really, you know, obvious. Um, and there were the two caves down there. I think I got like most of the quest items out of the way, you know, early. So like when I found Staff Cave, I could turn the harp in immediately. When I found the Jerk Cave, I was able to do that immediately. I didn't have to backtrack to anything really so uh, it kind of worked out for me well it's good to hear tristel now 
uh, running a raid at Randomania and saying he had an amazing start. So I'm curious to hear exactly what that start entailed. <laughs> so, uh, I'm PNG. E, how do you feel about two rolls for 15 that are min rolls? <laughs> two in a row? Uh, like a 15 to 30 range? Yeah, that would be pretty unfortunate. And anyway, is, is that what's happening now. with the Dragon Lord fight? So, speaking of racers, uh, joining us a, in a third place time of 107 59 Ness Cardinality, GG's to you. Congrats. It was a very close race between you and Up to NG of our four featured races. Thank you so much, the GG, Up to NG, and Tristel. Well done. Yeah, GG. Very nice. This was a very big field, so good to have a, a solid uh, result here. Yeah, I had a little bit of a rough time finding a place to grind, and when I was ready to settle down and grind, uh, I was a level away from this big boost that made the blue dragons in Hawksness really good. So it was just that slow level that I felt like really kind of held me back. But other than that, everything went really smoothly, I think. You know what was interesting? I went through Swamp Cave like it's slightly earlier and found Sherlock and everything, but I never checked that tile. And when I was at Hawksness, that was like the last thing I needed. So I just stayed there and I just gambled that spike tile at Swamp Cave like wasn't gonna be good. I just didn't want to was a stone man just to see. Stone man. Not a friend you want to grind, that is for sure. Even with uh him I believe having stop spelling. But I agree blue dragons were a little dicey before a certain point, especially with no heal more. It was a little a little gross. Yeah. And uh something Nescard said, something I was gonna actually uh say probably right in how it cost you. Uh Brian Williams says that that was the difference in your runs. You were kind of tied in experience, but it opened up a small gap because up to NG was able to get that level and probably saved a little more time on killing blue dragons by doing so. So yeah, good, so good I don't of things that are cards. Yeah, I don't feel really bad about anything I did. Uh, I checked, like, in order to get that level, I went above Garinham and found, you know, Druin Lords and uh, a couple other things and just wrapped it up quickly. But uh, yeah, it was it was just a little bit of a slow slog there. Uh, but I'm really happy with all the decisions I made. And uh, finishing uh, in fourth place, guys, Bobski in one hour, 11 minutes, two seconds. And just finishing now, Beta Strap in fifth with one hour, 12 minutes, 36 seconds. You say that, Nasca. I do want to go back to the uh, Stones of Sunlight being in deep grip cave that you left behind for a little bit. Do you feel, feel like that might have kind of delayed you in any way? So I talked about that more than anything uh, in the early half of the run in my stream. Um, I think I left on purpose after getting the top three chests. And I kept saying, like, you know, I had the flame sword and silver shield, and I was so strong and so ready to just explore and I, I kept telling everyone, like, if the sword is in there, uh, it doesn't make that much of a difference because I'm already really strong. And if the stones are in there, well, I mean, like, I, I had originally intended to just go back, but then I explored around and it's isolated down there. Like, everything, literally everything else is the opposite direction. So I just said, if I have to go back, I'll just go back when I can repel everything. And that's basically exactly what I did. So overall, I'm okay with that uh, decision. And I think it worked out relatively well. Uh, I might not have made it to the stones if I went right at the beginning. And and yeah, I used wings to get back home before we had returned. So it wasn't that bad. I do want to say, I don't think that cost you too much uh, from my viewpoint here in S cards. Uh, and also something of note, J-Man has made it down to Dragon the Dragon Lord with at level 15 with full stuff uh, on board. So like all nine heal mores, hasn't had to use any sort of extra stop spells. Trying at 15 should be interesting. I, I oh, felt like tech 14 might have even been possible, but I knew that there were, you know, red dragons had sleep and just I didn't want to <laughs> go in at some, some crazy level. I don't know. We'll see how he does <laughs> 15. So it's interesting that he kept all his resources because I don't know. I used stop spell strategy for red dragons when I saw them in Sherlock uh, Nest card. I don't know if you were just running from them or. I, I, oh, wow. I, okay, just sorry, just interrupt. Bobski gets the death necklace on, gets through with full uh, hit points, 106. Uh, and by the way, 
sorry, Bobski, J-Man. Bobski also finished at uh, 15, having done three gold grinds along the way. Interesting stuff. How different it was for different runners in this race. Uh, so I used I my first stop spell on a red dragon on the top floor missed, and so I was really worried. But then on the bottom floor, I used one that hit, and that was pretty much it. The rest that I encountered in the middle, I encountered quite a few, but I ran from them all, and so we were all set. Yeah, the stop spell was just turned out to be seven out of sixteen, so about a coin flip. Yeah. All right, we're getting a bunch of people in here, so I will make some room for you guys. Thank you all so much for the wonderful race, and good luck to everyone in this upcoming tournament. Good luck again, to Ness Cardinality, on your third place here tonight, and good luck in the tournament. Thank you. Yeah, it looks like J-Man should get ahead of DK here. J-Man really about through the fight. DK is only just now starting, so... Oh my goodness, Crystal saying in chat, actually reset and lost around four minutes because we want to keep the Silver Shield money early on, and I guess managed to make it over to Rimmeldar and got that Silver Shield. Oh wow, so it sounds like he did a full grind with the uh, the level one gold grind. <laughs> got the Flame Sword out of the first town and then just, you know, was hoping to also get a Silver Shield and it worked out pretty quickly. That's, that's interesting. I actually... Um, got fairly lucky there as well i did a gold grind for the silver shield specifically and i hadn't checked any of those shops yet so <laughs> i just like popped into the first town i saw and it happened to be there so it was nice and boom j man beats the dragon lord with one swing to spare uh dk getting into the dragon lord with super low mp so we're gonna have to see if i think he only got in with six heal more so it's gonna take some good rolls for him and just to let everyone know here, uh, JJ Smith finished seventh with a 11608. And J Man, who you just saw finish here on Randomania, finishes in eighth in 11649. It'll be interesting to see if people that were running off stream, you know, post afterwards about the seed. I, I kind of wonder how many people ended up getting sent home from Sharlock by the Red Dragons, because anytime they have sleep like that and they're in multiple zones, you would expect a lot of people to have an issue. I mean, you seem to have better than average encounter luck on your dive up to NG, that is for sure. Yeah, I didn't even know they were in the top zone until he mentioned it, so <laughs> that was nice. And, well, you I mean you hero walk the top floor alone? That was pretty impressive. Uh, yeah. 11720 is the official time for DK finishing in ninth place. Yeah, DK unfortunately did fall victim to a Red Dragon. No, actually fell victim on the on floor to a Red Dragon right behind you. Like, he was not far off. He wasn't grinding. He was just going for it. But unfortunately, that Red Dragon got him. He decided to go ahead and grind out 16. And a pretty good showing from everyone here tonight. Uh, quite the, the seed. It had a fast start available, but it also had some very tricky situations uh, for our runners here. It's what, what you like to see, something good, but also a little bit mean here in Dragon Warrior Randomizer. Yeah, I feel like we're about to have plenty of mean next week. We <laughs> got the tournament is starting right now, right? I'm sure people are already scheduling their races. We're going to be like probably every night we're going to have something to watch. It's going to be awesome. Well, there's a few afternoon ones as well because, you know, I work early in the morning. I like to call a few races this time around. Didn't have much of a chance for the Winter League. I called two and they were two of the craziest uh, races you've seen. One was really fast and one was incredibly awful. In the meantime, we are joined by J-Man and our sixth place finisher, Blue Lobster. Oh, that was the only one on um, the feature the Dota 15, huh? Actually, DK was going for it on 15, but got uh, victimized by a red dragon and decided to go to 16. You were actually, of the four on stream, you were the only one that finished at 15. Yeah, I got a little luck for some moment for some reds for sure. Well, I, I will say this for the level 15 attempt. If DK had been able to continue walking along, DK might have finished second. Like, 
It might be even first. It would have been close, but I think Tristel still would have won the race. I think I think Tristel did get it in ahead of eBay, but DK would have certainly challenged up to NG for second place, but just uh, that's why we call them the fun police. So what were you thinking? Um, uh, I believe it was J-Man and Blue Ops. So what were you both thinking in um, that early grind, having the armor and having the flame sword available so close to the castle? I knew I'd slipped up once or twice, and that put me way behind. It had to have known the uh, caliber of people in this run. And we have a uh, 11th place finisher in Kigalis in 120.21. And Zarnax finished 10th in one hour, 19 minutes, 35 seconds. Okay, there we go. Sorry about that. Had a little trouble with my mic getting the push and talk set up. But it's, yeah, it's I, working now. Yeah, I. Um, yeah, I definitely stumbled a little bit trying to find the right uh, enemies to grind. So that definitely slowed me down a little. But once I found... And the stone men were my personal fun police. Just could not... Just could not escape them half the time that I found them. But I'm... I can't complain about, about my sixth place finish. Yeah. I will say... Oh. Yeah, I will say Stoneman are kind of infamous for only having four agility but run blocking like a champ because of the run mechanics of the game. I will say Stoneman are very susceptible to sleep. They are, and that apparently just was not a, an option for me this seed. <laughs> I think that was the first time I've ever done a Stone Man grind for more than, like, I think I did four levels on Stone Man. Well, everyone else pretty much seemed to go with the Blue Dragons in Hawk's Nest. Uh, that Stone Man grind, it's hard to hold your nose and do it sometimes, but every now and then it is the right play. I think they were both pretty close. I just don't think you had a good place to fill up uh, from the Swamp Cave. Yeah, it was more, I, I was... Since I don't map, I was having a hard time remembering where to go from Oxness back to a town and back into the real world. So I knew I could get to, from the uh, Swamp Cave back to, uh, I believe that was, uh, Garenham. Well, it was actually a shorter walk from Garenham to Hawksness. Yeah, yeah, once I realized the Blue Dragons were my best bet, it was a much easier, it was a much easier run, but... And I was actually getting really lucky with the Hurt Wars against them early on. So, you know, I get that was definitely the right play, it seemed like. Oh, so, sure. I think mine, I think I had three times where I had, or I had t twice where three times I missed Hurt Wars on blue, so I just kind of called them off for the room. It was pretty much up until, like, the first one, people were kind of going one Hurt more and then just start swinging your sword, and then getting Erdrick's sword. And just kind of damage racing and healing up with heal seemed to be the play until Healmore finally made the scene. Is how uh, Ness cards and up to and G were playing it. I think that level was just kind of a breakout in general, but I think what kind of tripped you up, J Man, the most was actually just not going south fast enough to find the stuff because it turns out that one. Peninsula just happened to have uh, your have everything for the rainbow drop. Yep, that's what I was looking for. I knew they had to be there, and I got turned off because I got uh, taken out by a red dragon. I think at level two or level three, as I was exploring the area, it turns out I think I missed it by less than half a screen. Well, I am going to head out for now, but thank you guys so much for having me have me for me for an interview well thank you for joining us and good luck to you in your upcoming matches in the summer tournament being played on rpg limit break speed gaming and rando mania channels thank you very much and uh, best of luck to you all as well bye gee
Yes, and I can make the joke of that's why my seating is in the 30, low 30s, high 40s, and uh, Ness Cards is in the you know, single digits. Either that or he does several of them a day, generally, it seems. One or the other. He is pretty good with it, too. But, yeah. Pretty good with it. Yeah, yes, no doubt. Although, as being pointed out in the bracket reveal, his summer record is really not that good for tournament play. It's only 18 and 11, oddly enough. In all the SRL races I've ever raced against him, I think I've beaten him twice out of probably 50. That puts you ahead of me. I've probably raced him about the same amount of times, including one head-to-head -head last year in the summer tournament. I've never finished ahead of him. I finished within 20 seconds of him three different times, though. So beating him anytime is a good time. Yep, no doubt, because usually anytime I see him doing his dot done, I'm just happy if I'm done with my grind and I'm starting to go uh, tackle Sherlock. And I do have to say, uh, the guy I think you really got to watch out for is that smashy fella. I think I might be one win away from facing him next week with a little luck. I may or may not have said that looking at such a thing, yes. <laughs> I'm actually pulling that up as we speak. Yeah, while we're waiting for our other finishers here off uh, the featured things, knocking the bracket around might not be a terrible idea. Yeah, that is in fact correct. If you manage to get past Ursine, J-Man, uh, I am waiting for you. That was the key. I believe I'm the higher C, but I have no idea how, because I'm not sure I'm favored in that match for any reason. Seeding is just a number. Like agility. Especially in Sherlock. I always joke that in Sherlock, it seems like it should be just like the... Uh, Dragon Lord calculation, you just knock 100 off the number, and that's what your actual agility is in Sherlock. Hey, thanks so much, guys, for doing the broadcast. It's awesome. I, I hope we get all the races covered. You never know uh, how, what availability is going to be like, but it's always fun to uh, see as many as we can for the tournament time. But thanks, thanks for doing it tonight, guys. Of course, I'm always up to talk and talk about things. It sounds smarter than I am. I'm good with that. How about you, Smashy? He is struck blind by how eloquent and on point I am. I love it. At two hours in, he's working on uh, trying to figure out push to talk at this point. I was wondering what I was wondering why I was talking to myself so much for the last couple hours. What's that? Okay, ready, we need one more throw it here. We do have another finish. Cube Rob has finished in 127. But with the interviews done, uh, we're going to go ahead. Sounds good. Take it, Smash. I was getting there. Uh, anyways, we are heading to Speed Gaming 2. For they have another weekly. It is of the Zelda 1 variety. And in case you haven't heard me giving it out all night, Speed Gaming will be, for the first time, hosting some Dragon Warrior Randomizer races in the summer tournament. So be sure to follow all their channels so you don't miss any of the action. And be sure to give our runners a follow up to NG, DK, Nescard, and J-Man, along with uh, CD Improv on Restream, Bryceolf and I smashy on commentary, and our trackers, Hamian, Renokai, and I believe that's NYC guy. Yeah. It was a good joy. time, and looking forward to this tournament, Smashy. And oh my goodness, so many good races to come your way. Don't miss any of the action, guys. Yeah, it's going to be a fun tournament. We will see you there. And Cyberdark finishes at 13. We'll see you later. Bye.